it's nearly 12 years on since I got diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome and ADHD. And I thought this would be a good time to take a video, talk about how I'm getting along. Well, actually, I'm not getting on well at all. Yes, it might look very, very confident. I am. In as much that I'm out here, actually doing some sprinting in the surf, hence having water around me. And it's, I find this water really refreshing. Of course it's cold, but it's certainly not going to be doing me any harm. What does me harm is the demon inside of my head. Last year was, or rather the last two years, had been the most difficult two years of my life, other than ten years ago when my wife took her life because she couldn't really take it that I had Asperger's syndrome. She had her own demon. And I think she felt herself were guilty. But I don't really go into but what my wife did. That's another story entirely different. But for me, it's been, to a certain extent, 10 years of absolute hell. The first couple of years having to raise two of my children all on my own and I think what's happened now last year I had acute kidney failure and it's caused a massive lack in my confidence and this is why I'm going off to the doctor today to get myself some counselling it's not so much the Asperger's syndrome or the ADHD that I do suffer from from time to time, which is actually not question of being there with me from time to time, but more constantly all the time. One of my problems is I crave sugar. And I think sugar is slowly destroying me. I think thinking about an article I saw in the natural news website all about ADHD doesn't exist. Well, I often advocate that all the ADHD is a label just like autism or Asperger's syndrome. I think it is our environment, our society, our health, it's disease, it's labeling, it's primarily that we all live in a very unhealthy society that causes our environment to become unhealthy. This in turn makes our diet become unhealthy. My diet is certainly unhealthy. Although vegetarian to a degree, it's when I binge, I crave sugar. And when I open a bag of sweets, I've got to, to the top. I've got to eat every sweet. Then I go through with the second bag and third bag and fourth bag. Same with cakes and peas pastries. But it's very, very tough to do without. It takes a lot of nerve, a lot of confidence, a lot of patience. And I'm not so sure that I've got patience. And I thought I was... But at the same time, I'm going through hell inside. I'm suffering a lot of anxiety. I look very assertive. I look very confident. The ability to take this video out here and my legs are absolutely freezing cold. My hands are getting freezing. So I'm actually going to go now and do about 10 minutes of exercise to start my day and get on with all the things that I want to do. Actually, this week has been very, very good in many respects in as much as I got myself a diary and have started writing things getting done things that I hadn't done for 18 months, two years. In fact, an insurance company rang me up yesterday and during the conversation, we, they said, we're not sure that we can help you because it's two years after the claim began. Anyway, all I wanted to say that if you are a parent, a teacher, carer, or person who knows anyone or cares about anyone who has autism, 
be aware. Be, be aware of their challenges. Just one more thing before I go. Lots of my business friends and colleagues still put me down. I'm sure they're not aware they're putting me down, but they say things, they tease me. I still believe many things they say to me. And then they say, Lawrence, we're only joking. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how many times I tell them that I can't tell the difference. But there again, I think a lot of my can't, can't doesn't really exist. Can't wouldn't exist if I could have a staple relationship with me. Somehow be rid of my demon inside of my head. Somehow not have to worry about my cravings. And yes, I've been there. I've been, I've had a nutritional coach. I've had life coaches. I've had communication coaches, but in the long run, They've all failed me, and I wonder why. I know why, because I'm dealing with the demon inside of my head. And now it's come to a time where I'm actually going along to my doctor to see if he can help. Perhaps counselling will actually get me what I want, or perhaps it won't. And perhaps in three months' time on my birthday, I'll be able to tell you that I've just lost a stone in weight. I no longer have to have to worry about counselling. I no longer have to worry about the demon inside of my head because I'm getting on with my life. Now I've got to go on with my bit of exercise this morning and my back is killing me. <laughs>